The agenda here will be to see the item ordering from a supply plan in NetSuite. This will be the last step after creation of a demand plan and then a supply plan in the NetSuite application. So we'll see how a plan, supply or purchase can be converted to an actual purchase order. This can be done either directly from the supply plan or we can make some manual updates before we finalize the purchase order. We'll be logging into NetSuite by using a web browser and by navigating to www.netsuite.com URL. And that will bring us to this login screen. Over here I'll be using my credentials to log in. My username and password have been entered here. And that brings us to the NetSuite dashboard. As you can see I've logged in to the purchasing and inventory managers role for this video. And this rule has been given access to all the procurement to pay as well as inventory related functionality. The first thing that you can notice is that the dashboard has been customized for this particular user. I'm using this layout with three columns. The first column has reminders, KPI meters, some trend related graphs. The middle column has KPIs, navigation portlets, so on and so forth. And the third column has inventory trend, shortcuts, so on and so forth. Every user may customize it based on whatever his requirements may be, whichever functionality he uses on a regular basis and what functionality or what data he wants to see when he logs into the application first time. Since this is the inventory manager's role, he also has access to some drop-down menus which are specific to his role, some activities, shipping related functionality, receiving inventory reports and so on and so forth. A different role will have different menus to be accessed. And role-based functionality is a security feature in NetSuite where you can restrict which roles have access to which kind of data and who accesses which transactions, so on and so forth. Every organization may define their own f definition of a role and they can define which functionality each role has access to. As of now, these are the roles that I have access to in this organization and our functionality today will be based on the inventory manager's role. In this video, we'll see how we can order items once a supply plan has been created. You may refer to the previous videos to see how supply plan was created from a forecast of a demand plan or from existing sales orders. But to give a quick view of the supply plans, I can open the screen here. We have created a supply plan for Samsung Galaxy Note. I can click on view to see what the supply plan looks like. As you can see here, the supply plan has been created with monthly intervals. So there is a supply plan created for December, January, February, March and April. Based on this, we can create orders. For that, we have to go back to the dashboard. I'm using the navigation portal. Under inventory management, I have the option of order items. I can click on this. And over here, we can order these items based on certain filters. So our item supply plan was created for the location US West DC. So I'll also be ordering for US West DC. You can also select the vendor that you want to order from. As of now, we can leave it as all. So we'll be seeing all the vendors for US Best DC. And then we can filter by dates. So as you remember, our supply plan was starting from December of 2018. So I'm going to put the end, uh, beginning of the period as 30th November so that we can see any orders that were supposed to be created for November or December. And then I can also change the edit, uh, change the end date and put this as, let's say, June of 30th of June so that I can see all the orders that are planned for this period between 30th of November 2018 till 30th of June 2019. In the list, there are certain orders that are being listed. These are all planned purchase orders. They have not been placed yet. There are also items for uh, 
some other vendors like Herman, Samsung, so on and so forth. But our plan was created only for one item, which was for Samsung Galaxy Note. So let me filter for that vendor. And here I can see that the filtered list shows only for vendor Samsung. At this point, I can click one or several planned purchase orders and click on submit over here so that these planned purchase orders get converted to actual purchase order. I can also edit the quantity here. So the quantity that uh, is being uh, displayed here is based on this item supply plan, which was planning for 1010 units to be purchased in December. But let's say if we have uh, you know a lead from a customer saying we have uh, uh, you know we are expecting some more sales orders uh, in December or uh, if you are expecting more sales orders in January let's say so I can manually also update this let's say I'll plan for 100 units extra for this month and I can select these two lines and click on submit What that will do is it'll start a job in the background and now the system is creating these purchase orders that I have selected. Let me just refresh this. We are still waiting for the purchase orders to be created. And now we can see that the purchase order has been created for vendor Samsung. See this is complete which means the processing of the creation of purchase order is complete and the purchase order number is 13537 I can open this up in a different tab so that we can view what the purchase order looks like and once the purchase order is opened up you can see there are two lines in the items one is 1010 which we left unedited and we're expecting this receipt on uh, 8th of February. This is based on the lead time of that item, which is 45 days. And the second line, which we edited from 20 to 120, has also been added to the same purchase order with a different receipt date. At this point in time, this purchase order can be sent to the vendor as an email or a PDF or as fax. Uh, and then we can expect delivery from him uh, at, at which point we can proceed to receive the inventory against this purchase order. And that concludes the ordering of items based on a supply plan that we have created, which was based on an existing demand plan. Thanks for watching.